look at the diabetes statistics will tell you that Australians are eating too much sugar. And is it any wonder, given how it's added to almost everything we consume, dozens of teaspoons added to our daily intake without us even realising? The recommended amount per day, are you ready for this, just six teaspoons. But the average Aussie consumes 14 to 16. Teenage boys are eating the most, averaging 22 teaspoons a day. Weekend Sunrise nutritionist our Sarah De Lorenzo is here. Morning to you, Good Sarah. Morning. So it's the, the hidden sugars, I think, that are the biggest dangers because most of the time when you have a biscuit or a piece of cake, you know there's sugar in it, but it's the other things like the condiments. Correct. And what I'm going to showcase is how many teaspoons that are actually in these commonly consumed foods. So something just like a biscuit at the front there has got one teaspoon. The sauces and the dressing, one tablespoon would be one teaspoon. So the banana really? bread, just one slice is four teaspoons. No. The raisin toast is eight and a half teaspoons oh, for two wow. slices. Now two snakes is three <gasps> teaspoons, a muesli bar, three teaspoons. Wow. A serving of cordial, three teaspoons. The milk there, nine. And as for the, as for the acai bowl, 16 teaspoons, as well as the soft drink at 600 ml is also oh 16 God. teaspoons. The acai bowl. I knew that's yeah. why I love them. <laughs> oh. Isn't she? You, you're like Rain Man. Do you walk down the aisle of I've the supermarket, a... go 16, 22, 12, 1, 3? We've been into a meal with her and we'll go, mm, how many calories reckons in this? Seven. You, yep. Exactly. It's just, very impressive. I've got a really good memory. So that, Well, I can now rule out um, that raisin bread's not worth it. And the, well, the acai, Sorry, that's yours. I want to try that. All right, what's next? Artificial sweeteners? So artificial sweeteners, a fantastic study was done. It was a French study that clearly demonstrated that people who consume artificial sweeteners have a 14% higher chance. Of, of cancers, which are ca obesity related cancers. Yeah, wow. and so it's interesting that postmenopausal, the pancreatic, the esophageal. So, wow. what I recommend to people to do is there is just no place in the diet whatsoever for artificial sweeteners. Look out for words like diet, light, sugar free, zero. Also, on the back of the nutritional panel, look for numbers like 951, 950, and just be avoiding them. Now, what do we do? We don't want to be that statistic. We get everything from bees, from trees, and from plants. So it's honey, it's maple syrup, but as well, it's from stevia too. Are you saying this miserable okay. digestive biscuit is actually no good? It's no good. It's got artificial sweetener so in there. It tastes terrific. It says sugar-free. But you think you're doing the right thing. It says so sugar-free. How do we deal with it then? How do we satiate those sugar cravings? Well, basically, first of all, you need to understand why are we having sugar, sugar cravings in the first place. So people sh crave sugar because they're either tired, <laughs> laughing at me. <laughs> you like it when I do that to I never did. <laughs> okay, so people crave sugar sugar because their diet's poor, they're not eating enough, they're fatigued, but also they're not taking in enough calories during the, during the morning. They have, could have mineral deficiencies as well as gut issues such as oh, candida. No. First of all, Sorry, I want to no, make, just, sure, I wanna make just, uh, sure that people, when they're getting on top of sugar cravings, they have a... Oh, <laughs> Sorry. They have to make sure your diet's right. My so recommendation... Can I just move you down there? A friend, thank you. Okay. Sorry, we're trying to get to the okay. chocolate. So you can get to the chocolate and enjoy the chocolate. Are, but when you want to give up... I want to talk about cravings. Go on. Cravings, you have to actually give up sugar for a month. And when you do that, you can retrain your taste buds, making sure your diet's healthy so you've got stable blood glucose levels during the course of the day. And then once you've done that, you can then enjoy sugar and sweet things the way it should be, like I've done here with frozen grapes or having some dates or having a homemade Snickers bar or having some Look fruit. At that. What about this one here? This is my fruit dip. This is one of my favourite things, a fruit dip. So you there's so me. many. Yes, how's that homemade Snickers bar? <laughs> Amazing. And what about this? Try that. That's a peanut that butter That is momentous. Cup. That is momentous. You're eating a date. Try that. Matt? Look, I can't. I'm currently eating something else. You're actually eating a date, Matt. I want to let you know oh, that. Oh, Sarah, this is absolutely divine. <laughs> but they're great divine. ideas for having something sweet once you've kicked your sugar cravings. That's so weighty. Isn't it's it? It's delicious. Mm. It is it's fabulous. Amazing. And it's got um, peanut butter in it. It's sensational. Sarah, we love you. It is sensational. You're Thank sensational. You. Thank you. Yeah.